welcome back. Today's episode is with acrylics and I'm going to demonstrate how I paint these weaver birds and their nests. Here I am starting off with a modeled background that I, I will post a separate video on how to create a model background over the weekend um, in a couple of days. And uh, on the top of the model background, uh, you can see that I am drawing my birds out with a charcoal pencil. This is a General's white charcoal pencil. Whenever I am a drawing or, or painting with acrylics, I like to do my drawing with white charcoal if I'm not transferring it with transfer paper. The reason being is that uh, if eventually after the painting is done, um, if I had used graphite pencil, then a little bit of graphite may have shown unfortunate pencil marks may have stayed back even after completing the whole painting. To avoid that, this charcoal pencil works great. It uh, actually erases off very well just by wiping with your hand and while painting you will take care of all of the pencil marks and nothing will show through through your painting and that is what I want. So starting off with the bird's nest. I am blocking the entire uh, body of the bird's nest with various shades of yellow, yellow oxide and cad yellow for it to be specific, raw umber, little bit of crimson here and there, and a lot of white mixed with that. White is what is getting the op op opacity to cover the background um, to be able to do that. And I have to do that in a couple of uh, different layers to get the uh, right amount of coverage. Although even if the entire thing doesn't get covered, it doesn't matter because I want some textures here. And most of my paintings, acrylic or oil painting, um, you, I always look for a very smooth gradient. The fun part of this painting is that in this weaver's bird's nest, I want as much texture as possible on the nest. That is actually what will make it look like a very realistic bird's nest because a bird's nest is made out of straws and uh, straws are knitted together by uh, birds with their beaks and obviously it has a lot of texture, a lot of layers and a lot of uh, twigs will show through. So the more texture actually is on the uh, bird's nest part of the painting the better so be very sloppy with your brush use whatever brush you want even if it is damaged it's even better and just play with the colors I'm kind of following my reference picture for uh, the direction of the light and accordingly uh, the left side of the bird's nest is obviously a little bit lighter than the right side first I'm applying the paint a little bit more light on the left side and adding a little bit of purples and raw umber more for the right side but later i will glaze a lot of layers of colors uh, on top of it to get the right color adding on more and more texture and more and more detail kind of uh, on the bird's nest now you can see that uh, i am adding kind of the twiggy textures on the bird's nest Although it looks like I'm painting with straight white, it is not at all straight white. It is white mixed with a little bit of either yellow oxide or cad yellow. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to lighten it, it a, a little bit. If you have unbleached uh, titanium white, that is a very good color to use for this purpose. Or even Naples yellow mixed with white would work very well. So you can see that I've um, added a lot of twiggy looking structures and I'm coming in between those uh, lighter colored twiggy structures to add some greens and browns to create the light and dark uh, contrast uh, and uh, kind of make the twigs show through on top of the dark background. So like give it a lot of depth to the bird's nest. To show through that this bird nest has a lot of layers, you have to kind of sh let the dark speak through in between the lights. Once again, I'm adding more lighter colored twigs on top of the darks. The, my whole goal, like I said, was to create a lot of textures as well as lights and darks contrasting with each other. Adding on more and more of lighter colored twigs 
at this point you probably are feeling that okay yeah, she's done and no I am coming back with the glazes of uh, yellow and a romper and a little bit of green here and there and covering up most of my light colored twigs and this uh, adds even further layer of depth to the painting I absolutely liked the effect after adding this layer of glaze once this glaze completely dries out then I will come back with again a little bit of lighter color twigs and do the final touch to the twigs so that some of it kind of shows through because it it's a burden it's, it's not like everything is perfect there are little pieces of t strands of twigs that would be hanging out just like you know uh, uh, if you're painting drawing hair there will be thin strands flying here and there it's the same way you have to paint a few strands now coming up to the first bud, um, it is kind of a little bit bad exposure in this video because of uh, how much uh, close up I have made it, but you will get the general idea. After I laid down the eye with a dark color and also the def different darker areas are established with a combination of romber with probably a little bit of green I'm not even sure it doesn't matter really because you're going to apply so many layers of colors on top of it that it wouldn't matter and then I'm establishing the lights against the darks once again this also has to be done in a lot of layers at least that's what I feel that is what gives the bird's body dimension and depth and makes it look realistic adjusting the darks and uh, adjusting the lights as well my whole eye goal in any of my painting is to make the bright areas really white bright and the darker areas really dark so that the contrast makes the painting really catchy to the eye I think that method really works well no matter what you are painting adding some more yellows to the lighter areas of the body and brightening up with a little bit of uh, white added to the yellow for the highlights now closing in on the darks actually of the birds uh, wings I have tried to be very close to the reference photo and uh, follow it in general but I also have used some artistic liberty to you know interpret the colors the way I saw them instead of being very very accurate to the avian species so in case I have made a mistake on the colors that should be on the weaver bird just uh, forgive me and give me some artistic license on that although my goal is to paint the bird as realistically as possible but sometimes some colors just feel like they look so much better uh, on the birds than the other colors as you can see I have already started on my bird number two initially I blocked the entire body of the bird with a mixture of titanium white mixed with a little bit of yellow an unbleached titanium white would be perfect for this blocking in purpose and then I'm coming back with different colors that I wanted different areas of the bird's body the top of the head is yellow and the bottom I have used purple and combination of purple and raw umber for the real dark areas of the head I have mixed a little bit of black as well but be very careful while using black because black used in um, large amounts can make uh, the painting look very dull for the wings I have first laid down the dark purple brown color and then came back adding a little bit of white to that same color to create the light lighter areas and you will see that I am um, doing this in a few different layers to get the perfect balance of light and darks in the wings I always find to lay down the uh, find it easier to work if I lay down the darks first and then add on to the lighter areas and the highlights I say what for the very last at least for acrylics watercolors and oil pastel that is my technique that I follow but you do not ha definitely have to do that that is my way of doing things 
just adding the last few touches to the different parts of the bird's body before I call it a day and call the painting finished. I hope you enjoyed working uh, or watching this video as much as I enjoyed painting it. I think this is an absolute architectural marvel that these little birds create and uh, I wanted to mem commemorate them with uh, my art. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and share your comments. I, I'd rather want to say share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Oh, in the last little part, I put a little bit of streaks and straws in the bird's mouth to show that she's still building the nest. Well, that I think adds a little bit of more depth and value to the painting like this is a bird couple that are building their little nest for their future together that kind of uh, makes me feel like that's kind of what every couple's goal is building their nest together and that way i think birds are so much similar to human beings having the same social characteristics but being so much more free in what they do. That's a thing or two to learn from them, I guess. What do you say? Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Well, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.